Hey guys, so nearly a year ago, I introduced the 1966 Volkswagen Beetle here to the channel as I debuted it in its first video where I swapped out the 009 distributor for a single vacuum dual advance, uh, just a cheap one I bought off CIP1's website. Um, I did that because the car was having some uh, stumbling issues, it seemed like it had a misfire and it really had a bad flat spot coming off of idle. And uh, after replacing the spark plugs, which didn't make any difference, I uh, did some researching and everyone suggested that this here is the culprit, um, that the car would need the vacuum advance distributor to work properly. So I bought that and was very impressed at the performance increase by doing that simple uh, swap. Uh, no more stumbling, no more misfire, but coming off of idle, the car had a ton more torque. And not that it had a lot, but prior to uh, replacing this, you always had to have the car floored and it just never made power until, you know, Redline was just starting to make power and it was time to shift. Replacing that, um, the car immediately had torque and actually to the point where the clutch would start slipping um, with any more than half throttle. Not that it had that much power, but it uh, identified that the clutch needed to be replaced. So throughout the winter, I proceeded with the, re the rebuild just to replace the clutch and uh, make sure the motor was nice and fresh and to uh, solve some of those oil leak issues. So. I did that. Um, since rebuilding the engine, I've only had the car out a handful of times this year. Um, the family has grown, so it's more difficult to take three kids out than two. But uh, the few times I've taken it out, I've noticed that the car doesn't run quite as nice as I would hope it would. Um, had to sort up some issues with the carbs. It seemed like it was flooding in that, but uh, that seems to be all taken care of. The car seems to really run good when you first take it out, but after running for a few minutes or a, you know, a short drive, it begins to stumble again. and um, and when you go to restart it, it's difficult to start again. Um, my only thoughts after all that is it has to be ignition related. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that the 12 volt distributor um, isn't working so well with the six volt system. And I've since replaced or cleaned out the points, which uh, seemed to be an issue and improved it, but it seems to always start stumbling again after it's been running for uh, 15 minutes or so. So what I've done is I've since gone out and bought a Pertronics six volt electronic ignition distributor that's also vacuum advance um, i'm going to swap that in to see what kind of improvements that makes hoping it does if not then i'll have to replace the coil from there it is a newer bosch six volt coil which should be correct for the car but uh, i'm not sure what else could be causing the issue other than that so anyways we'll get this replaced now and see how it runs afterwards just a quick video here to demonstrate how well or poorly it starts with the current distributor that's in the car. Um, the car has been sitting, hasn't ran in a few weeks, so let's we'll see how it starts. We got the new Pertronics electronic ignition six volt distributor installed. Um, let's see how it sounds.
seems to run pretty good. I guess uh, tomorrow we'll take it out, see how we're at uh, up fares. Um, like I said, it ran good before until it got hot, and then it uh, seemed to stumble and miss and want to start afterwards. So I wish to take up a better drive tomorrow and uh, see how it uh, how runs. All right, so time for the test now to determine if replacing the cheap single vacuum dual advanced points distributor out for the Pertronics 6 volts electronic ignition one that's designed for this uh, this car if that solves the issue I've been having um, or if there's something else that's underlying such as a uh, bad coil so let's find out I think it's a little bit better, but certainly not where it should be yet. Um, a little bit disappointed. Um, the line next is replace the coil. Um, so one thing I did, I just put the coil on the back of the dog housing, um, just because the the linkage for the carburetors is in the way. Instead of relocating it down onto the block, I just hit it through and put the spark plug wire, the uh, coil well wire, through the uh, the the dog housing um, fan shroud. But uh, I'm not sure if it's it's making contact in there and shorting out or what. But uh, something's still not right with the ignition, and I really don't think it's fuel related. Sometimes it runs good, sometimes it doesn't, especially when it's hot. So, you no. Know, I guess it's time to order a new coil, and if that doesn't fix it, uh, maybe swap the carbs back out for the uh, the um, the single single carb in the center. So, keep tinkering away. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Well, what do you know? The replacement Bosch six volt coil has arrived. Installed using the relocator kit that came with the MP dual carbs. Fit there. The linkage in the way. So it's right down there. I still have the, ex the previous coil in on the back of the dog housing in the back down there. Just because I can't get it out. Um, wires are all on now. Wires hooked up. And let's see how she runs.
aside from the mix up of having wires one and two mixed up, um, didn't allow it to start at first there as you've seen. Um, seems to run and idle pretty good now, but um, I won't really know for sure what kind of improvements were made until I take it out for a little test drive. So anyway, stay tuned for the next video and we'll see if uh, changing that coil does a trick. Um, if not, then uh, you know, look at carbs or something else to uh, get running how it should. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned.